Okay, so we are moving on to 3.5. Okay, so 3.5 says Franco assembles benches for their flying field. Okay, the benches are sold as loose parts contained in a box ready to assemble. Okay, so it says an extra E has the list of parts and the first three assembly instructions. Okay, so remember, if these are in our addendum. Okay, so here's all the parts and here's some instructions. Oh my goodness, I'd be so bad at doing this. I'm so bad at DIY. But anyways, this is how you would go about it, right? If I made it, I don't know what it would look like. I would just pay for it to get done in the store. Okay. So we have all these different parts. Okay, cool. So let's jump in and do 3.5.1. Okay, so three, let me make sure you can see what I'm saying and what I'm writing. Okay, so 3.5.1 says, write down the total number of loose parts in the box. Okay, so let's calculate the loose parts in the box. Okay, we might need our calculator, but we can also do it in our head. Okay, so over here it says there's four of those, two of those, and four of those. So two, I mean four plus two plus four is ten. Okay, so that's ten plus twelve is twenty-two. Okay, if you can't do this in your head, you can one hundred percent use your calculator. I just like extending the knowledge bounds of my brain. So you don't have to if you don't want to, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna use my brain. So two twenty-two plus two is twenty-four, plus four is twenty-eight. Plus 1 is 29, plus 2 is 31, plus 1 is 32, plus another one is 33. Okay, cool. So there are 33 parts. You can check me on your calculator, but I'm pretty sure that is the answer. So you can say there are 33 parts. Sure. So you're going to have to put all of those together and get a bench. Okay, so then it says here, write down two instructions that will match the illustration in step Two. Okay, so, oh my goodness, I'm so bad with stuff like this. Okay, so basically, there's very little maths involved here. 100% just basic sort of like understanding of what's going on and sort of maybe DIY knowledge. If you go to DIY, you'll probably smash this question. But what he's doing, from what I can see, is he's laid the bench seat on its back, right? Then what he's done is he's going to add the legs. Okay, and then he's going to put in the long panel between the legs. So that's three things. It only says two, but I'm going to put all three. So I'm going to say bench seat on back, okay, or on ground. Then I'm going to say attach bench legs. Okay, then I'm going to say um, attach attach long panel to legs okay so basically i'm describing right they asked me to to describe what's in this picture and that's what i'm seeing okay so that question is not too difficult but it's actually testing whether you can put into words what you're seeing okay and sometimes that can be a little bit tricky but that's the way i would go about it okay okay oh i've got so many papers here Okay, 3.5.3 says, explain the purpose of the long panel. Okay, so I'm not an engineer, so I cannot be completely sure, but according to the memo, and I asked my brother who actually is an engineer, um, this panel is for stabilization purposes, right? So it stabilizes the legs. So if you didn't have this panel in here, right, and you sat, and you sat on the bench, you could possibly sway it from side to side. But what happens if you have this long panel in the middle, it helps stabilize it so it doesn't sort of like morph its shape. It keeps itself in the shape that you have it in over here, okay? So we're going to say stabilizes for 3.5.3. So it stabilizes the bench. Okay, right? Um, so that question was kind of a weird one, right? There was very little maths, but it's actually eight marks, right? So it's not too difficult. So that is the end of question three, and we'll be going on to question four next.